Hey guys, welcome back. My last video, I made a small knife out of some ADC RV2 steel. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. I wanted to test this knife out down at Lake Powell. Spent five days down there and I did a lot of tests. I also wanted to check out, see if there were some canyons I could get to because of the lower water level or if I didn't be able to launch the boat. I made some other knives out of the steel. I used a pine cone in the handle for this one. I also made a toxic green handle for a customer. I did some testing on those, but I want to do some heavy testing on this knife to see how it holds up. Found a lot of cool places down here that we've never been to before. Found this place that wanted to test my knife out. I want to see how well of an edge it had in the beginning. And I'm tested out at the end and see how well it held up. It was cutting really deep into the wood. Made real quick work of the stick. I also wanted to do some batoning to see the toughness of the, the edge. They went through this no problem. And so far, there's no chipping or rolling of the edge at all. It's held up really well. I did drop it a couple times and it did pick up some scratches, but that's about it. After I got back, I remembered I wanted to test, see if the acids from foods would discolor the blade like it does with 1095. So first I cut through the peppers. And there was no discoloration of the blade. A lot of people don't like the patina that you get with uh, the 1095 steels. So I wanted to find a knife that wouldn't give it patina. And chicken will usually get the oils from the meat and they left a tiny discoloration but I was able to wash it off and really easy to clean. Really happy with the steel and how the, the edge held up. There was no damage to it and I tested it every day that I was there and I'm still able to cut through paper in the end. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.